Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hide this line, but using a very interesting technique, I'm going to hit here to show you the background, the transparency background. And in here, I can see this line, right? So the line of this shoulder is going to be drawn only when it's outside the body. When it's inside, it's going to be hidden by what? Well, let me go to here to the timeline and go find this line okay i'm going to show the visibility arm line there you go that's the line that, I, that i'm going to use okay let's do this okay here are the steps you start by showing all the layers for that arm remember we need four layers the arm the mat the duplicate and the line now, you first take the duplicate and pre-compose by hitting Ctrl Shift C. Make sure that it says leave all attributes in Gemme and leave it like that. Press OK. Now, click on arm line and cut it by pressing Ctrl X. Double click on arm duplicate and paste there control v hey i pasted there where is it well it's down here you can zoom by the way you can zoom in or out by scrolling your mouse okay now all you have to do is take it put it there and here's what i do i take both of them and bring out the opacity property ah you can what you can manipulate properties yes if you hit t you're gonna get it now if you scroll your mouse like this i can bring the transparency you see now i'm gonna leave it around there and i'm gonna let me zoom in oh by the way we don't need this anymore bye bye and there you see Ooh. Now, wait, I can, you can use the arrow keys. There, I was focusing on these areas. Okay, now, you delete that one, which you don't need it. Now, bring that, the opacity up to 100. Close this because you don't need it anymore. Fuck. And it's almost ready but i need to copy one of the effects that this arm has what it has an effect yes i'm sorry i didn't tell you well i'm telling you now click on effect controls and there's the effect for the puppet remember the pins you know all that stuff well it's here you copy and paste you click here and then paste haha -ha. Now, it's doing the exact same thing as that arm. Oh, sorry. Actually, you know what? I moved these pins that I don't need anymore. So I'm just going to hit delete. Bye bye. Now I can take this. You see? Look at this line is now rotating and moving around with this arm. Now, next step. This is called track mat. I don't know if, if you have this part of the timeline or this mode. Okay. All you have to do is click on this button here. And you can toggle between those modes. I want this mode. So you go here to track mat and click on alpha mat for left arm duplicate haha -ha, what happened okay if you remember let's let me undo that very quick if you remember this arm mat i'm going to click i'm going to click here on solo mode that's the mat what okay i'm going to click there again and what happened is I'm using 
what it's called track mat. Look, the line it's only drawn when it's inside. When it's outside, it's not drawn. You see? Ah, pretty cool effect. Yummy. Okay, now let me explain for those of you who are new to track mat techniques. I'm gonna create a solid by clicking Ctrl Y. Then I'm gonna leave the name like that. So this is the solid. I'm going to scale it down like this and actually like like there uh, okay there I like it I'm going to maximize this because I want this to be right after this arm so I can give you an example what happens if I take this arm and I put track mat on it look track mat what you see haha so if I move this object I'm only showing that arm when it's inside of this object this rectangle and if I do this I put the the rectangle below the arm and I put track mat I see that arm you see and if I hit inverse alpha mat it's going to show me every part of the rectangle except the arm haha -ha, interesting so that's track mat and what's happening here oh by the way when you do the track mat you can check that for the left hand the visibility was off Boom, let's turn it on again and that's what's happening the line it's only being drawn when it's inside the mat ah super cool now let's do that for this other line what do you do okay here are the steps you first you bring the visibility for those three objects for the arm mat arm duplicate and arm line then take the duplicate pre-compose hit OK pick the line cut it double click on the duplicate paste remember remember the 5th of November cool movie when you paste it it goes down there almost always and now you can pick both of them hit T bring down the transparency click here again I'm going to work like this yeah so much space I don't know what to do with it okay I'm focusing on this little part there you go now I delete that layer then bring the opacity for the arm line to 100 close this composition then all I have to do is oh pay copy and paste the effects remember pick the right arm pick the puppet effect copy select the arm the right arm duplicate paste and now you're ready take the right arm mat and on track mat click on alpha mat remember if you don't see the track mat you, all you have to do is click on toggle switch yeah easy I like it when it's easy and there you go I'm going to do the exact same for the legs in the next tutorial just as a quick review okay See you in the next tutorial.